Farms. I own an independent paper crafting business showcasing products from Stampin' Up. I made this spooky cat card with products from Stampin' Up. I sell these products and also a few items to make crafting more convenient. I'll have the free detailed directions for this project on my website. You'll be able to just click the links for the products to be taken to my online store. And there will also be a PayPal button for you if you are interested in ordering the card kit from me. You'll see where to find all of that at the end of this video, so don't worry about taking notes. It's time to put stamps, ink, and paper together. This card opens twice, and you, I'm going to show you how you can even use this as a gift card holder. I used Festive Corners. It's a wonderful stamp set that can be used for Halloween, Christmas, Valentine's Day, and there's these stamps that go in the corner that can go either this way or this way. I'm also using the Cat Punch and Memento Black Ink. If you are ordering the card kit from me, you only need these two products. The card kit will be all cut for you and scored. The pumpkin pie is five and a half by seven and a half, scored at three and a quarter, so that there's an extra inch. There's a piece of basic black that's four and a quarter by four and a half, and scored at two and a quarter. There's a piece of the plaid tidings designer series paper. This designer series paper is kind of nice because it too can be used for Valentine's Day or Christmas, Halloween, fall. I used this one for this card, but there are others that could be used for this card as well. And you'll need some basic black for punching out the cap. And if you order the card kit, I will have already punched those out for you. And you may want to get some black dimensionals. Um, the black dimensionals come with four sheets, two sheets with the mini dimensionals and two with the standard size like this. I'm going to stamp Spooky in Memento ink. This is Tuxedo Black and I want to stamp it way over here on the side. And you might even want to close it so you can center it there. And we will eventually be putting this here. So I'm actually going to put the uh, card in here just temporarily to see where this is going. And I see I have an oopsie here. I ha This oopsie can probably be um, taken care of with a little black spider there or something. But I have a sand eraser that I can usually get away with sanding away most of the damage. I'm also going to stamp a spider hanging down here. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp the spider web on my um, envelope too. You will get an envelope if you get the card kit. I think I'll stamp it here. And it seems I neglected to get out the 2x4 Berry Vanilla also. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp the spider on that as well. Stamping Trick or Treat, Happy Halloween. This is going to go on the inside of the card, about a half an inch down and a half an inch over or so. So now's when I can make this into a gift card holder. I'm going to place this piece where I want it over the fold. And I am just going to put adhesive on the very edge, on the top and the bottom, 
the fold side. So no adhesive on this side. And then we're going to just fold that card. We can go ahead and put the vanilla piece in here. And we can put the designer series paper on the front. The cat that goes on the front is going to face this way, and I'm going to put dimensionals on it. And I don't really need dimensionals on the tail, but if you want to put some but if you want to slice one of the dimensionals to, to a skinny slice, you can. So I'm just going to set your cat. So I'm going to just set the cat there. You want to be sure not to have it going past the fold, otherwise the tail will get caught up. The other cat is going to be glued directly on. Notice that it's facing the opposite way of the other cat. So this leaves a little pocket here so you can slide a gift card in there and leave it sticking out just a little bit. And there it is. Not really too spooky. Happy Halloween! Here is the web address for this project where you'll find the free detailed directions and links for the products I used. And you'll find a PayPal button to order the card kit you saw in this video. Also on my website you'll find a shop button. Under shop, you'll find products from Bev, shopping strategies, frequent shopper points, a link to my online store at Stampin' Up. When you click products from Bev, you'll find information about sharing my current products notebook in Evernote and taggers. I started making taggers when all of those layering shapes came out and it was so hard for me to figure out which one I used and how to tell somebody else which one I used. So I made taggers. Each tagger has the name of the dies, the item number, how many in the set, and each tagger has the size of that shape. I also sell my cardstock sampler, fine tip glue pen replacement tips, and large and small reclosable bags that I use for designer series paper, both the 6x6 and the 12x12. And I have a link for my friend's bow maker. Under inspiration, you can scroll my projects, look at the latest post, find out about the basics, which I've designed especially for new stampers and techie tips. Under getting organized, you'll find links to stamp case slips, product labels, large labels, case inserts, ink refill cases, lots of coloring tools, stamp pad storage that you can make for yourself for practically no money, catalog tabs, a quick reference, and a wish list with the catalog index, directions for my basic toolkit to go and my compact desktop toolbox, I have so many people looking for my Evernote current products notebook that I have a new tab just for that. You can find out how to share my searchable catalog. And if you're interested in joining my team, you can go to SIP together and you can find out how to join my team so that you can either save money or make money. Almost all of those resources are free. More organization means more time for crafting. Talk to you soon. Bye.